Hello guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to show you how to build the Canadian National 89. And this is also used on the Strasbourg Railroad right now. And uh, this is the second commission by Catch a Trade Real Fan Production, so thank you for that. Uh, if you want to do commissions, uh, you could just check out my Sellify page, link in the description. And uh, you can see this is the other locomotive he wanted me to build. Yeah, we can have them next to each other. So it's another steam engine. And uh, this is what it looks like. And uh, let's get started. So first off, let's add the front plow. So we're going to take uh, another brick uh, stairs and have it three blocks wide. All right. And then behind it, we're going to add five blocks wide of uh, black wall. Like so. And on top of that, we want to have um, on the sides, let's add another brick stairs like this. And then in the middle, uh, another brick slab, and one sticking out for the coupling. All right. So next thing we're gonna do is add more another brick in the middle. Just temporarily add this so that we can place the another brick stairs that goes up, like so. And uh, right over here, we're gonna start off uh, using some black wool, going all the way to the edges, like a two by five. And these are going to be like the piston basically. So we're going to add another brick slab underneath, two of them on both sides. All right, and then we're going to add uh, polish andesite right around here. Does it overhang? Yes, it overhangs like this. So we're going to make the plus sign. And then on the sides of it, in the corners, let's add upside down uh, stone brick stairs just all around just to make it a circle. And then we're going to add the smokestack on top at the back. It's just two blocks tall. And now let's add the light in the front. So we're going to take a gray wool in an item frame. <clears throat> Put the item frame there. Let's add the light, which is a yellow stained glass like that glass pane and underneath it let's add an iron trap door for more detail I know there's like a red sign here but you can't really add it without looking really bad so I just ignored that so then we're gonna add skeleton skulls on either side like this and a stone brick slab on top like this and this is supposed to be where they have the nameplate which I can also put alright so after we do that let's add um some more gray wool right here in the middle like that and we want to make that eight blocks long so one two three four five six seven eight <clears throat> so then we're going to add on top we're going to continue this plus sign shape with the black wool you don't have to do the middle actually so just continue it for the eight blocks and yeah just uh finish it up now let's add some uh, another brick stairs to round off the corners and make it into a cylinder to the side as well and I think we should add some more detail on top so we're gonna add a little dome right there it's a black wall and then we're gonna add a bell which is the skeleton skull and then uh, another brick stairs and black wool again and then we're going to add I believe a slab and a black wool another brick slab and black wool and on top of the black wool let's add I think this is the whistle which is an oak fence alright so after we do that let's add some more another brick slab just continue this uh, from that stairs in the front to the back on the sides of course and then let's go back to the front and uh, let's add the wheel over here just like one tiny wheel and it's just like a hopper right there did I put that right all right and then in the middle of that between the pistons let's add stone brick slab like that and then this is gonna be where the first uh, driving wheel is so we're gonna add 
Nether brick stairs. It's gonna be a li little bit tricky. So I have to remove a block just to place that. Which is kind of annoying since you have to put it back afterwards. So I'm gonna fix that later after I just need to place this. Uh, the wheels down. Come on. Alright, and then let's fix up the piston that we kind of destroyed. Alright, so after that, let's add another wheel. <clears throat> and we're going to leave a gap of space between, so right here. And for the second, I mean the third wheel in the back, uh, we're going to leave a gap of space of two. So this is one and this is two, all right? So it's going to stick out a bit, and that's because it's going to go underneath the cab slightly. And let's just do the same thing on this side. So remember, there's like a gap of space here. And the other one, it's a gap of two spaces. Let's add some more stairs underneath it and Once we're done with that, let's add uh, the piston rod or rods, uh, which are just a stone slab. Which so we're gonna build like a two by two kind of like in the front, and then we're just gonna go to the back of the middle. I mean, go to the middle of the back uh, wheel like that, and do the same thing on this side. <laughs> I just felt like something in my nose. <laughs> it's a little stuffy. All right, so once we're done with that, uh, what, what are we going to do, huh? Let's add the cab, I guess. So we're going to take black wool, and the cab's basically four blocks uh, long. So just add that to the very sides <coughs> and make it four blocks long like that. And uh, let's add one over here on top. And next to that, let's add smooth sandstone. And this is for their number on the side. And then we're going to make an L shape of black wall like this. And fill in the middle wall of black wall as well. Then the corners, we're going to take light uh, gray stained glass. Add that right there for uh, <laughs> the cab windows. And then on the sides, we're going to use. Uh, Red stained glass pane instead. All right, so after we do that, let's add another brick slab and make this uh, five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. And I know the original one; it's supposed to have like some kind of red roof, but I didn't like how that looked, so I just uh, left it black. Alright, so I just filled in the roof with black wool, and then you could place a stone pressure plate right here. Leave a gap of space between that and the whistle. Alright, so after we do that, let's add the bottom of the cab. So let's continue this gray wool. Adding uh, uh, four blocks at one, two, three, four, I think. Yeah. And then this is where we're going to add the floor for the cab. Just add the black wool like that. All right, then we're going to add black wool in the corner here. And then a nether brick slab. Just continue this line over like that. All right, so after we do that, let's make this connection. So we're going to add. Uh, the ladder basically so let's actually make the middle first like there's a little floor platform uh, using gray wool and then on the sides of that let's take another brick stairs and have one upside down like that okay so upside down and upside down and above that uh, we're gonna add another brick slabs in the middle like this and also underneath the stairs so it has a ladder now 
and you can see you get up here and then there's like platform and it goes up a little bit you know all right so after we do that let's work on the tender so we're gonna add black wool and start up here and make a border around it's five blocks wide and actually in the middle yeah okay never mind so move this back a bit so it's gonna be like that and then you want to make this black wool um, basically the tender 12 blocks long so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and just continue that to the other side so we have this nice border and then we're going to take some more black wool add three to the bottom here and make it three blocks wide just go along the whole length of the, the tender basically till we get to the back alright once we get to the back section we're going to take uh, nether brick stairs and have that uh, basically like that like a little platform and also it curves around the whole tender so add these nether brick stairs along the sides as well all right next we're gonna add uh, some more nether bricks uh, nether brick slabs under here just add two to corners at the back of the tender and in the middle we want to make this a double stone brick slab like that and this is for the coupling and then let's add uh, smooth sandstone in the back it's supposed to say 89 so just add that to the middle on the top like that and let's make this wall uh, three blocks tall so one two three just go all the way around All right. After we do that, uh, let's go to the front and make this wall taller. And then uh, we should <laughs> probably fill that in because there's sort of a hole in the train. So let's add gray wool right here. Actually, not gray wool, black wool. Just fill that in. All right. So next thing we're gonna do let's make uh, the light in the back uh, when I moved it I guess the item frame uh, fell off but basically put a black wall right here and then put an item frame on it and we're gonna make the rear light so we're gonna take white stained glass just add that in the back like that but then let's take another brick uh, fence have that line across all the way to the top and alongside that let's add a ladder alright next thing we're gonna do is add uh, 3 by 3 right here of black wool just to fill this in like so and then add another brick slab right here leaving a gap of space in between that and on the sides we're gonna add nether brick stairs right here and also in the front of the tender as well so right next to the roof of the cab also so it should look like that and then let's add another wall <clears throat> right here going all the way around within the interior of the uh, nether brick stairs and then once we have this hole here let's add block of coal Alright, just fill in the roof of it. Now it looks like it's totally full. And then let's add this logo on the side. So we're going to take red hardened clay, yellow hardened clay, and take the yellow, just add that right here. Just make this diagonal shape. So it looks like this. And for the other side, I think I just did the same exact thing. So it literally is the same thing. I'd even change 
what where the colors were so I don't think it really matters it's not that specific enough it's just like this box alright so after we do that let's add the wheels on the bottom so let's go down let's add these bogies so we're gonna take um, two hoppers on the end for the wheels then skip one two hoppers and we're right next to the back so you can see the this is where we are and then let's take stone brick slab and then add that in the middle and go to the front of the tender right next to the stairs and then add uh, the first pair of bogies or just bogey alright just add that uh, and then let's add stone brick slab like that alright cool alright so the last thing we're gonna do is go to this dome in the back and then right below it we're gonna add a nether brick fence on the side on top of this nether brick uh, slab and only have it on the left side so that would be it on how to make the Canadian National 89 of the Strasbourg Railroad. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and thank you again to Catch a Train Rail Fan Productions for commissioning the build. And if you guys like this video, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.